Hello and welcome back. And today I'm going to show you guys just how easy it is to set up a Linksys mesh router system. We did our unboxing review and what I'm going to do today is go through the setup of a three node system along with the software overview on a mobile device. So what I'm going to do straight away is get the power connector here, get that connected into the bottom and I'm going to connect it directly into the Wi-Fi in this building. I'm not going to be utilizing a Netgear router or anything in the middle. I'm not going to use any of this guff here. This is directly into this device. We're going to use this as our primary router point. I don't know how well you can see that blue light there on the top. And what I'm going to do is give it a few minutes as it has advised you to do in the guide and get this device set up for the very first time. For those that aren't aware, the guide is located on the back of there. And what we're going to do, probably leave that out just in case, is set this device up for the first time. So let's make our way to the screen. Right, so we've made our way over to the mobile screen and now we can start installing and setting up our Linksys mesh network using the brand new Velop. So, uh, first thing we need to do is make our way into the app center and just search for the word Linksys, as you see from the top of the screen there, and install the app that it gives you. What it will do now is it will activate the application and it will start walking you through the process of instructions and setting up your Linksys mesh routers for the first time. Now, chances are while you're doing this, you're gonna be connected to another network. Of course I am right now, that's how I was able to download the app. Um, if you're already using, if you're setting up a new Linksys product, click the button at the bottom and it will start asking for permission to access the wireless and the scanning capabilities of your mobile phone. Obviously, they're gonna ask you to click a uh, link to your um, it, uh, your mobile device, and of course, terms and conditions will apply. Do read through them. Um, if you, what you need to do next, as I'm doing right now, is I've got to look at the Linksys next to me, and indeed, the purple light is blinking. Click next, and it will check for internet connectivity on this node. Now, this is the node that happens to be closest to me right now. I have got several nodes set up at the same time and the hope is that this will find the very first one that's located next to me to go through this. I'm going to skip forward to when it's got the device connected. Now we've identified which one's got the internet connectivity. It's now asking me to unplug the modem router and start the device up again. So let's get on that now. And we can see that it's found the device and it's now going to carry on with the rest of the setup. Slight delay there. Uh, had someone come into the office there. Don't worry about that. So we'll carry on moving forward. And uh, next it's asking us to create an account. I'll be honest, not a huge fan, but you know, we should proceed with this. And we're creating our account and it's now linking this device to my account. No doubt we've got an email there just letting us know that we're gonna have to authenticate at a later date. And boom, there it is. That's if we want to verify that account. But for now, all I want to do is set up our new Linksys mesh Wi-Fi system. Just gonna let that carry on forward while it carries on setting up. It's linked the account. And now we have to give our Wi-Fi network a new name. So we're just gonna call this one uh, NAS Test. And we're going to go for the simple password, password. It's now going to adapt and create our Wi-Fi network on our first Linksys node. And then from there, we should be able to use the rest of the setup to find the rest of the node devices in our local network. Next, we need to name this node that we're setting up for the first time. I'm going to call this one Office just to make it easier in future. It's now going to save those settings and it's going to name this first node office for obvious reasons because I'm going to use it in the office. And there we go, we've set up our node and now we want to add another node. And this way we start finding more mesh routers to add to our existing network. So let's add another node. It's going to advise us the best way to place our nodes, making sure they're within the distance of one another so they can communicate. Right now, for the basis of this video, I'm only keeping them around five or six meters apart. And then in a later video, we are gonna go through speed tests. But during your initial first time setup, I strongly advise that you set your nodes up all in one area, and then you can power down the node and move them to another location later on. It just makes things easier during the initial setup in case distance is a concern during the original setting up of your Linksys nodes. So we've plugged in our nodes 
and now it's going to search for the next series of nodes. It's asking us to wait, and of course I've set these devices up in advance, but I do advise while you're setting up those extra nodes to just give it a few minutes till they fully light up purple. So the device is now going to look for nearby Linksys nodes in the surrounding area. It's worth mentioning that Linksys nodes, although they've all got different Wi-Fi networks when used independently, they've all got an extra node that they use to communicate just with each other, not for external devices. And this is how, once you've set up one node, you can add more very easily. So let's proceed forward with the adding of this node. And there we go, we've added our new node. Let's give this one a new name too. Let's call this one Office 2. I know, not super imaginative, but it's just gonna be easier later on when we're sorting through our node. So now we've got our original node for the Office and Office 2 as an extended node point. I'm just gonna add one more node and don't worry, you won't have to watch through this. I'll skip ahead, just to let you know I'm gonna add a third node now. And I've just set up the third node in our mesh router system. We're going to call this one Office 3 and move forward to the software itself for a quick overview of what this software can do. But to be perfectly honest, I'm going to save that for the next video where I'm going to completely go over the Linksys Shield software that you can utilize using your software. We're not going to bother sending reports. And you know, as I say in my next video, I'm going to show you guys exactly what this, these devices can do, what the security protocols are, what the lows, the highs, and whether this uh, mesh system is right for you, for your home or office system. And of course, we'll be comparing it against Google's Wi-Fi system and the Synology router RT2600 and mesh systems, the MR2200AC. But otherwise, thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this helpful or useful. Do let me know in the comments if there's anything I've missed. And otherwise, thank you so much for watching. Cheerio.